hello guys okay now you have set up your own subscription platform okay okay so today we are going to integrate the paypal standard payment method so that your customer can pay you using your paypal account okay how to do this okay first go to your website admin panel and login Okay, here once logged in, you can go to the e-commerce and then go to the settings and then head over to the tab payment tabs. Okay, here you will see the PayPal standard payment method. Go to the set up button on the right. Okay, on the setting page, you have to make sure the enable PayPal standard is tick tick this and then enable PayPal standard for subscriptions and for the title you can just leave it as PayPal description you can just leave it for the PayPal email fill in your PayPal account email address for the enable PayPal sandbox just leave it empty for the debug log just uh, you can leave it tick and IPN email notification also tick and receiver emails uh, fill in again your PayPal email address next is the identity token you can leave it blank invoice prefix also you can leave it as it is next is shipping details you can leave it as it is which is tick address override just leave it as default for the payment action it's important to set it as capture so that we can uh, directly deduct the amount from the customer ac paypal account for the image url you can leave it empty and the most important part is the api credentials so we need to use the live api username and live api password and also live api signature so we have to fill in these three settings the sandbox is for testing purpose so now how we can get the live api username password and signature okay go back to your paypal account go to the paypal website and you can log in to your paypal account Okay, once logged in, go over to the top right on the profile menu and go to the account setting. Okay, on the account setting page, you can see here the API access. Okay, click on the update link. Okay, on this page, you can go down to the NVP SOP API integration classics and click on the manage API credentials. Okay, on this page, you will see all the information that we need. So we have here we have three uh, information that is needed for the subscription payment. So you can show all the API and then you can copy for the API username and paste it into the live API username. make sure there's no space before and after the api otherwise the uh, subscription will become error okay and then you can copy the api password and 
put it in the API password here. And finally, the signature key. API signature, make sure you copy the, all of the numbers and letters. Copy and paste it in the live API signature section. Okay, once all done, click save changes. Okay, now the setting has been saved. Alright. So that's it. You can go back to the payments tab and you can make sure the enable switch is turned on, which is enable. If it's gray, it means it's disabled. So we need to enable this so that customer can set up payment and pay using the PayPal standard on your subscription page or subscription products. So this one, once we integrate the PayPal standard, once the customer subscribe to your course or any of your products which require recurring payment, so the payment will be automatically deducted from the customer PayPal account automatically so you don't have to follow up the customer again for payment so only the first time the user need to purchase the subscription and let's say for the next month and the month onwards the payment will be automatically deducted from their PayPal account so that's it uh, this is how you can integrate the WooCommerce subscription with PayPal standard payment method. Okay, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more video from us. Thank you.